Okay, so here's a, a I would say a pretty big update um, that I've made on a lot of the files that I have online. And I've created a bunch more actually. So um, this will probably be, hopefully be the last update for a while because I need to take a break from this. I need to check out. Um, but uh, I've been basically working on this almost nonstop the past two and a half weeks. So a couple things. Um, the biggest thing you might notice is a big old hole right in the middle. Now uh, there was a few people that didn't actually report issues so much as report kind of concern that hey we need an exhaust vent or why didn't you put an exhaust vent and I electively chose not to in the original design but um, in case people think that's you know that's something necessary I've updated it with this hole now you might think well that's kind of an odd hole now I'm going to show you the, the exhaust that I've created now uh, I made it in such a manner so that anyone that's already printed one you can still add this to it if you can get a 5 16 inch uh, drill uh, or a 15 millimeter drill uh, sorry, a 5 8 inch or a 15 millimeter drill, you can drill a hole right through the mask and then you can add these components. And I actually didn't want to add them directly to the design um, for a number of reasons, you know, kind of see in just a second. So first of all, um, here is the vent. Now this is inspired by uh, Wally Rene, who um, his design has a vent that's very similar to this. Um, and so this is designed to be printable. Uh, so what you can do is you can drill a hole or print the mask with a hole in it. You put, you uh, apply glue to the uh, sleeve itself. Let me click on this. You apply glue, uh, super glue, slide it in through the hole uh, that is either drilled or uh, you know within the print. And then there's a retaining uh, retainer ring that slides over top of the outside that you would also put adhesive there. So now you've created your own little port. Now this port is gonna be closed off with a piece of rubber that is glued from here all the way around, leaving this end free so that as the user exhales, it inflates it like a balloon and air escapes. When they inhale, it sucks it close against it to keep it from air from coming in. Now be aware, this exhaust does not protect the, um, the you know, if you are sick, it's not gonna protect other people. It's only gonna protect you from bringing things in because you're literally exhaling your germs. So be aware of that. The files have the option to exclude this if you don't want it. I just wanted you guys, everyone to have this option. Um, so there's that and then there's one more piece which is the shield, okay? Uh, the shield leaves an open area so that the rubber can inflate but all the air exhausts downward instead of straight out at you. Um, again, I completely borrowed this idea from Wally Rene. Um, this is just, uh, I thought it was a, a good implementation so I redesigned it a bit just whatever added did, did the CAD myself but it's basically a repeat of his design um, just something that you can attach now the nice thing is you can put this on any mask basically um, you know there might be some you know if it's a, if it's not a smooth surface that's gonna be a little bit harder but this doesn't have to be my design it can be anyone's design if you wanted to add an exhaust valve here are the files where you could drill the hole add it in there and you're good to go so that's the first thing I wanted to, to discuss now I've also got uh, a couple different mask designs themselves. Now, uh, well, I should say, there's this one, this is the normal large um, that I've had out already. And so it's the large, and then I've got the medium as well, which has also got the port built into it, one with and without, up to you. And then I've also got a new one that I worked on with someone else, um, because uh, he mentioned that he's got a, a bit of a flatter face, not as broad, of, you know, as large of a nose, um, he's of Asian descent and he said that that's pretty common and so and I decided to go ahead and make one that was a little more flat um, to accommodate people that you know maybe because this is based off my face and so I've got a little bit narrow I mean a larger head <laughs> but a more narrow one so this gives you uh, a little more broad plus there's no wrapper on the cheekbones so nothing to gouge into you so a little more forgiving in this design I would say so there's this design and then there's one that's completely different there is the dual uh, Roomba, okay? So with the port or without, now you can have them on either side, and not only that, they are upward, so any condensation, whatever, will come downward, okay? Will not pool and uh, saturate the filters. So you have t twice the filtration, or twice the um, filter usage. Uh, basically, I needed to put one on one side or the other, and I figured why not just have both, okay? So um, be aware, uh, the, the hooks on here, I've redesigned them. These are not as print friendly in the sense of printing uh, supportless, but they're just a whole lot easier to design. I'm just to be blunt about it. The adding the hooks is the most 
annoying part of the entire process, okay? So um, that's it. So th those are the different designs. Now, a couple, one other thing I'm gonna show you is that I've also created a clasp. So I mentioned the other day, um, uh, shared a strap, uh, basically a CPAP BiPAP head strap. So I designed a, a hook that would be able to engage my hooks here. Um, and also I added a hole. Now, why did I add this, a hole and a pin? Okay, so let's hide the mask for a second so I can show you how this works. The idea is that you might not need, you don't need, you need four of these hooks and two pins. Ideally, you would attach it to one side of the mask, slide the pin in there. If it's friction fit, great. If it's not, put some glue on there. And that way the straps stay adhered to the mask, okay? Now, you can also, I mean, if you want to try to cram it through, you can, but this is a 16 millimeter hole that straps about 18 millimeters when it's relaxed. The, the strap hook itself on the mask is eight millimeter or nine millimeters. So it's gonna be pretty snug. So this gives you the ability to hook in there, have a strap, and then you can you know, semi-permanently mount two of the straps to the mask so that you're only having to engage, disengage one side when you take the mask on and off. Okay, so there is a lot of information there. Um, I'm going to bed. Well, something, I'm gonna go relax. Hopefully this helps. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll get this video up on YouTube. I'll make a, I don't know, I don't know, whatever. Have a good one, y'all. Bye for now.